Hi guys, welcome back. It's been a minute. I've had a busy week. Here we go. The last drawing that I have on butcher paper. Uh, I'm gonna try something different next, so stay tuned. But I am working on using fabric paint and acrylic. So that's what I've been working on. I found, uh, we actually went thrifting uh, out at Value Village in Coquitlam, they're open. And I found two bags of fabric paint, approximately 22 almost full containers for 10 bucks. So I'm kind of working with that. It's sort of cool. I like making these little uh, one-offs because I have a bunch of uh, fabric from Dresso. You can get both ends for like two bucks and I'm just doing it on 100% cotton. But I thought I would come back to this today because it's been a while. Um, same model we've been working on and I thought I would try the Art Primo. There is um, there's a ball bearing in here artprimo.com. This is just black. I'm going to try this one. The lines are a little bit finer. This one has more detail. And I just want to get used to this paint instead of actually using a Sharpie. Uh, turtleneck day. It's May 22nd and it's really, really windy out. I just got back from my walk and I am nice and warm. I have soup in the uh, getting ready in the slow cooker. It's been on for about four hours. It's about 12.30. Uh, I'm gonna start, she's wearing glasses, so I'm gonna start right here and see. Ooh, this is nice, good. I'm gonna go a little bit slower. Yeah, good. Stopping for a sec so that I can squeeze. Whoa. Things are starting to open back up again. How are you guys doing out there? I noticed that the hair salon is open. They're doing um, <laughs> manis and petties and they have face shields and wow, what a strange world we're living in, hey guys? But what a great time to stay inside and make art. Um, I've been filming videos uh, for Skillshare. I got accepted uh, into their teacher challenge. Um, and that means you get uh, a coach, which is really cool. So I've been moving through those videos. My first class is how to make a high impact portrait. It's called Camera Basics. Can take a look at that on Skillshare. It will be completed for May 31st. I have four more videos to film. The projects get shared um, in a group, which I'm really looking forward to because uh, I'll have a chance to interact with the students and give feedback, which is really cool. It's one thing I always look forward to with my practice is getting uh, Feedback. I have a couple of mentors. Do you guys have mentors? I have one for my business, one for my photography. I have a consultant that I go to for my art practice, Penny Lane Shen. She is amazing. I highly recommend her. If you are doing any kind of art and are wondering about how to move yourself forward or to change your practice, um, or to kind of market, she is wonderful. She can help you with pretty much anything you can think of. And she's very honest, which I really like. Just gonna slow down here for the eyes. Almost done. This is going really well. I really, really like this marker. Um, before I used it, I let it sit upside down for a really long time. It's 
gonna finish her nose. Nice. And I notice that there's some hair over here I need to do. Kind of shuffling over. There we go. Almost before I lift, I'm gonna take a look. Everything looks good. Let's go over this a little bit more. The one thing I was sort of reminiscing about um, before this all started, this whole lockdown, a friend of mine and I went to the movies. I love going to the movies. <laughs> I don't know when we're gonna get to go again, but summer is such a great time because you can go and sit in the air conditioning. And my birthday is in the summer, so we would always usually go to a movie to celebrate my birthday. I have not lifted my marker yet. I'm going back over um, because I noticed that there's a few spots that I kind of want to be a little bit more consistent with and I wanted to get back to the mouth. So I was just sort of running all around. Almost there, almost ready to lift and ta -da! there it is. Wow collection of big drawings has been really, really awesome. My next challenge that I want to do, if you have seen my Instagram feed, you'll notice that I posted um, some patterns that I made. This is the little plastic bag that I keep them safe in. They're just on tracing paper because you create one triangle and then you fold the paper and keep drawing on there. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna create some of those next. I'm gonna see what that's like. I hope you guys are well out there. Thanks for staying with me and we'll see you soon.